all right hey y'all be with another word <laughs> um i'm just gonna hop in a prayer and let holy spirit have his way because yeah Heavenly Father, we thank you for this beautiful day. We give you all the glory, all the honor and praise in Jesus' holy and mighty and precious name. I thank you for blessing me with this opportunity to speak to your children. Thank you for pouring into me to pour into your children, Father God. I pray that every single thing that you need to say, it's said. I decrease so that you can increase, Father God. Have your way, Holy Spirit. And I yield to you. I yield my, my heart, my tongue, every part of my being to you, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. I also plead the blood of Jesus over my brothers and sisters and myself, wherever we're going to be tuning wherever they're tuning into this video at father god wherever they are father god i pray that it be tech it be protected in the name of jesus i plead the blood of jesus over them i also pray heavenly father that you dispatch a legion of angels to war for us in the spirit to keep us safe and encamp round about us wherever we are father god and i pray that this seed takes root in the hearts of those that it's meant to father god that you water it with your holy spirit and you get all the glory you get all the honor and praise in jesus holy and mighty and precious name father god i pray heavenly father that you increase you increase in every way and i decrease in every way father god you speak whatever it is that you want to speak father god I yield my tongue to you again, Father God, more and more. And I pray, Heavenly Father, that you get all the glory, you get all the you get all the honor, you get all the praise in Jesus' holy and mighty and precious name. I love you, Father God. I thank you for it all in Jesus' name. In the mighty and precious name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I pray. Amen and amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. <clears throat> yeah, that is so good. So, I'm hearing him say, like, we're really hopping into this. Forgive yourself many of you and i know it's many of you because you wouldn't have whenever these words come like this it's because there's many of his children feeling this way so many of you are hanging on to unforgiveness towards yourself okay and he wants you to understand that you're forgiven every single time that you come into the prayer closet and you repent and you ask for forgiveness of whatever sin it was that you committed towards god knowingly and unknowingly it's forgiven especially when you come in there only if you come in there with an actual remorseful repentant heart if you just come in there saying words because you want to go on about your day and feel good about whatever it is that you did and tried to get away with nah because god is the one that searches all hearts okay but he i just heard him immediately after that prayer say forgive yourself whatever it is that you did wherever you fell short wherever it was forgive yourself okay because he forgave you he forgave you he literally gave up his son our lord and savior jesus christ of nazareth for you to be forgiven for your sins jesus was sent upon the cross for you for me for every person that chooses to believe in jesus being the lord and savior of this world okay he even died for this world even those that don't believe in him to give them a chance to be saved to give them a chance at eternal life to give them a chance to be freed from these shackles and bonds of religion and and and, and traditions that go against god and, and just all these things jesus did it all on the cross so that we didn't have to do anything except believe call on him believe in the name believe in the power that is in jesus in his name through the father okay <clears throat> and the lord is just harping on forgiving yourself because i personally used to be so hard on myself and even when i started walking with jesus like fully giving my life to him and letting letting the lord use me i used to be so hard on myself on how i would give a word on um, you know just the particulars of it and forgetting that it was god that called me it was god that said hey i'm gonna use you it was god that said that it wasn't me i didn't i didn't volunteer for this initially but that's why i had to pause because <laughs> let's clear it up i didn't ask god for this gift i didn't ask him for none of what he's doing for me doing with me doing in me i didn't ask for none of it it was something that he gave me and it was something that at, a, at an appointed time he was going to activate and use me for which is what he's doing now and then when i started to get in line with his will and started to pay attention like oh okay this is what you want to do that's when i volunteered that's when i said okay if you want to send me there to say this i volunteer i just need you to you need to speak because you know i don't know what to say you know <laughs> so he just he's so good and the thing is he'll never force himself on you he's never going to come to you in a in, in a condo in a voice of condemnation and that's something that a lot of his children are listening to rather than his still small voice his banner over us is love okay jehovah nisi all right y'all need to read the song of songs the song song of songs i think two no oh my lord i wasn't even expecting to go here I already see I got the seatbelt on because <laughs> I knew this was a ride, but y'all, <laughs> Holy Spirit just be popping. Yeah, Song of Songs, verse two. Uh, no, Song of Songs, chapter two, verse four. He brought me to the banqueting house and his banner over me was love. 
God's banner over every single child of his is love. He always sees you in a loving way, even when you fall, even when you stumble. There's people, and this is the thing, like with this ministry, he talks about the stuff that people don't talk about in church because when you try and tiptoe around sin and say that this isn't a problem or you try and ignore a problem, it doesn't get solved, okay? And I heard him, and this is why I said this because it's about to get a little, <clears throat> if it makes you uncomfortable, take it to the Father, let him speak to you and go from there in Jesus name. I heard him say porn. There's people that may be struggling with this. I don't know who you are, but I heard him say it and it's been something that's been popping up a lot in terms of like, you know, something that people are struggling with right now. Either you're new to the faith or you're in the faith and it's just been something that you've been dealing with and you've been afraid to talk about because of the condemnation that speaks through other people that are supposed to be vessels of the Lord and, and speaking to you in correction, but lovingly correcting you and edifying you and encouraging you and uplifting you. And um, the Lord wants you to know that he sees the sin not to condemn you, not to judge you. He sees it and points it out because he wants to free you from it. Many of us have a past. Any person that tries to come with, at you with a voice of condemnation, it's normally because the spirit of condemnation is tormenting them. Okay, so that's what the Lord has shown me in terms of like people speaking at me and accusing me of you know harboring whatever spirits they think that i'm harboring other than holy spirit and i was like lord why are they saying this about me when it's you speaking he's like because it's not them speaking to you it's the spirit that's tormenting them speaking to you so when people accuse me of of having some kind of spirit and i know it's not of god and i know it's not of me and i know this because i ask god i don't sit here and assume anything because i'm just like lord if i'm wrong check me check and correct me like i was in the military i'm easy easy to take criticism especially only if it's godly criticism okay like if you've got godly words of edification and correction for me i'm here to receive it but the thing is, is Holy Spirit, he's heightened the discernment in many of his children right now to where you can discern what spirit is speaking to you and what spirit is speaking through you as well. So that's why I yield to Holy Spirit and let him have his way. This is just something that he's wanted to address because many of his children are being led astray and assuming that it's the spirit of God speaking through them when they're speaking to somebody else. And it's not. And it's actually a spirit that's tormenting them. So... I'm hearing pride. There's been people that have been dealing with the spirit of pride and trying to basically project that spirit upon other people. <sighs> Holy Spirit, speak. I need you to speak. He's telling me to keep going. Yeah, there's a spirit of pride that's tormenting people and people are putting themselves down because this is the spirit that they battle with. And rather than them dealing with that spirit in the prayer closet with Abba, they come and project what they're dealing with on their own upon the people that don't have anything to do with that spirit or um people that are dealing with the spirit of offense and he's having me call these things out because he knows that you're going to see it and he wants to handle it he wants to show you what area of your life this door is open and that's why he corrects lovingly because y'all y'all just see people by their fruit you pay attention to the fruit of people that are speaking to you on behalf of god that's why he's been having me just harp on galatians 22 and 23 the fruit of his spirit because god is long suffering people will come at you so left not knowing anything about you but the thing is is you have in the spirit of god the spirit of the living god within you operating in you and you're walking in the spirit and not by flesh it helps you to keep that self-control when people come at you left it helps you keep that self-control when people try and slander your character because one Holy Spirit sees the spirit that is operating behind this person's actions and you seeing with your eyes in the spirit rather than your eyes in the natural, you don't take offense. You don't get, you know, disrupted in your spirit when somebody basically comes throwing lies at you. And he's reminded me of a vision that he gave me this morning in prayer. I was praying and the thing is, is he gave me a vision of showing me that I was in a covering. Like it was like this force field basically. And I was in it and God was behind me. And the thing is, I don't know what he looked like, but he was big, okay? He was mighty, mighty, okay? God is good. Thank you, Jesus. Hickory and Amatis. Um, and I was in this force field and I saw these arrows, like these, these black arrows, but they had this like green, like haze over them. Like they were poisonous and they were just flying, just like choo, choo all over the place and the thing is, is they were flying trying to find me but they couldn't find me because i was in the covering i was in the secret place under the the shadow of the almighty okay i was literally in the covering but at some point in the time when i was praying and the thing is, is we're human this happens because y'all be praying and then sometimes your mind wander and then you end up you know 
your mind leaves the presence of God when he's like, I need you to come back. And that's what happened. He showed me that I was in this covering, but at some point in my prayer, a little bit down the line, I started thinking about something. I don't know. It was like some kind of spirit trying to like, basically it like tempts you out of the, uh, out of, out of position, out of the presence of God. And I started to see my, myself in the spirit, put my hand through the force field, through the protection of God. And then Abba was telling me, he's like, I need to get back, get back in here. And then that's when I started noticing like those thoughts that weren't bringing me peace, that weren't, that weren't, um, coinciding with what the Lord speaks over me daily of how much I'm loved, of how, how precious I am in his eyes of all these beautiful plans that he has for me. Like they started getting disrupted when my hand went out. And so when he told me to come back and I brought it back in, all this peace just engulfed me. So the thing is, is God, he wants to, he wants to free his children, but he needs y'all to understand. You have to acknowledge the problem, not run from it. And definitely don't project it on others. Like when I dealt with the spirit of lust, <clears throat> I didn't know that the Lord was showing me that that was a spirit I was dealing with. So when I was projecting it unknowingly on somebody else, I was like, okay, Lord, well, why was I feeling this? Cause I know this was something that I was experiencing, like not necessarily experiencing it myself, but I started seeing the spirit more. And the thing is the spirit was trying to attack me. So rather than me handle it because it was attacking me, I was assuming it was attacking somebody else. So that's how the Lord takes what he takes our experiences to not only teach us, but to grow us, to mature us spiritually and to help others when they're dealing with this and also pray for them because you're supposed to pray for those. Bless those that curse you. Don't ever raise your tongue against the child of God. Don't ever raise your tongue against anybody. Don't put yourself in that position to be judged by God in a way that it's not, you know, because there's two kinds of judgment with God. There's blessings and then there's curses. I'm always trying to be on the side of the blessings. So that's why I sit in his feet, sit, at, sit in his presence at his feet as much as I can. And I have him just keep me humble, as humble as possible because this walk is not easy and pride is literally at the door all the time trying to get in. That's why I'm just like, Lord, if you don't have nothing to say, I'm not saying anything. You get the glory in all this because I don't talk. I really don't have anything to say. And normally the things that I do have to say are just like quirky and off the wall. But Holy Spirit wants you to know there's no condemnation in Christ Jesus. Whatever it is that you did, whatever it is that you're going through and you feel like I can't be forgiven for that. I was so mean to this person or I said this thing to this person and you know, I can't forgive myself. You need to because unforgiveness is a sin and people think that's towards others. You need to forgive yourself because you're not forgiving yourself for whatever it is that you said or did in the past a couple of days ago, a couple of hours ago is keeping you from walking in the new that the Lord has for you. You have to understand that his banner over you at all times is love, even when you slip. And the thing is, is he sees your slip ups before you even slip. That's why he's sitting there waiting to catch you in his loving hands to pour more love into you to let you know how loved you are. So that's why walking in the spirit, it's just, it's so imperative because God is the spirit and those that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. So I highly recommend because these are the scriptures that he brought me to this morning and they like poured into me in like a whole nother way. And it helped me to look at people in an even brighter, more loving light, you know? Um, Galatians 5, 22 and 23. I know he keeps saying that, but he's saying it for a reason because you know a man by his fruit. Matthew 7, 16. You know a man by his fruit. Galatians 5, 22 and 23. And just call me Lord. <clears throat> it goes over the fruits. It goes over the flesh and the actions of the flesh, but the fruits of the spirit of God are 22 and 23. So I think it's 20 and 21 that may tell you about the flesh. But either way, just read Gal Galatians for sure. Um, Galatians 5. Um, also, Psalms 103. Those of you that are in a place of feeling like, God, like I messed up so many times. I messed up one too many times. Read the book of Psalms. First of all, that's David and a couple of other psalmists just pouring his heart out. Like David, y'all already know our boy David. Like David slipped, but David still became a king. David was still a man after God's own heart. Okay, so don't let condemnation try and creep in and tell you that you're less than because that is a spirit and that is not a spirit of God and you rebuke it in Jesus name and you bind it in the name of Jesus and you throw it right into the pit where it belongs and you don't let any spirits talk to you that are not of God stay in that secret place literally when you go in the secret place he said this many times when you go in the secret place you get filled up with his oil you get fresh oil you get that fresh fire that fresh uh, grace to go out and conquer the day that he has set before you so when you come out of that closet you should be oily there should be oil 
oil on everything you touch on every person you touch on every surface that your hands are laid upon there should be oil and that's how saturated and oily you should be after coming out of the presence of god because it should it should spread it should permeate in the lives of those people that you touch during that day so yeah um I'm hearing him say courts with thanksgiving. So also Psalms 104 and five, meditate on those. Literally just allow the word of God to renew your mind. Romans 12, two, don't be conformed to this world, but uh, renew your mind, renew your mind and do not conform to the world. That's like paraphrasing super like, you know, but do not conform to this world. People want to get mad when somebody comes at them. People want to want to um, say that they're okay just so that they can keep face and not be okay on the inside. You need to be fully okay. You need to fully release these people when they come at you left. Because the thing is, is when you walk, walk by the spirit and not by the flesh, you're able to see things by the spirit, through the spirit of God. And it helps you to have a better understanding and more grace towards these people. So the more grace you have towards other people, the better but you also need to have grace towards yourself so yeah just know that when you fall and this that's with the christian walk you're going to fall but god is always going to be there to pick you up he's going to surround you with brothers and sisters that are going to pick you up as well many of you are getting married he's going to bring you a spouse that's going to pick you up or some of you might be that spouse that's going to pick them up but whatever it is that you did i don't care when that you can't seem to forgive yourself for abba wants you to bring it to him he wants you to pour it pour it out at him pour it at his feet leave it at his feet and as you make that exchange you give him the mess you give him the burden you give him whatever that spirit of condemnation was trying to keep upon you and you take peace and you take that peace that surpasses all human understanding you keep it and you hang on to it and just let the lord love you like don't let these spirits continue to try and speak through you to you don't let them put you in a place where your blessings are knocked because the Lord, he just, he wants you to understand how, how great his mercy is and it, it, it endures forever. And I love you dearly. I love you dearly. I love you so much, beloved, is what he just said. So whoever needed that, I'm praying that this blessed you because I know I needed it this morning and just keep walking in the spirit. Jude 120, pray in the spirit as much as you can, y'all. That's not what the scripture says, but again, paraphrasing. It literally tells you to build yourself up in the spirit by praying in the spirit. Those of you that are uncomfortable with praying in tongues, take that to the father because only the enemy, only the devil doesn't like praying in tongues. And that's not to condemn you again. That's just to point some things out. That's how Holy Spirit uses some of his children. I know the time used. He points things out and he'll bring some kind of conviction, but it's loving conviction. It's loving correction. If it ever makes you feel like I can't get in the presence of God, that's not God that's condemnation and if the person that's speaking to you is speaking out of love but you still feel like you can't get in the presence of god that's a spirit of condemnation keeping you from getting in the presence of god so yeah forget your failures and forgive yourself so yeah <laughs> yeah yeah i think that's it so y'all be blessed i pray that the lord continues to pour his love into you and his peace and joy into you in a, an abundance and he just he just continues to show you more and more of how good he is but you open your eyes to how good he is so yeah okay <laughs> but yeah god loves y'all jesus loves y'all i love y'all and go for jesus because he went for you Woo! <laughs> bye